All right, what are all these mechanical things doing out here? Um, so I was watching some videos online on uh, blacksmithing and in particular how to choose an anvil. And um, there are cast iron anvils and forged anvils and anvils with steel plates on the tops. So and anyway, it's all kinds of anvils. And, and you want an anvil with a really, really hard surface so that it lasts you. And it's, it's true with machining tools as well. You want a really, really hard surface so, so it will last you. So things like a little bench, uh, a bench uh, anvil, uh, these bench blocks uh, are hardened. And so they're supposed to be hard. And then you want, you want other things that are supposed to be hard. Uh, this is a piece of uh, uh, tool steel. It's an actual uh, lathe bit for a very large lathe. Um, it's about at, uh, uh, here, I'll measure it. It is uh, about 13 millimeters by two and a half, uh, 20, 25 millimeters. Um, so yeah, it's, it's real stout and it's gonna be super hard. So I think of all these things, it's probably gonna be the hardest thing here. Um, and so in these vice, uh, vice, in these um, anvil videos I was watching, one of the tests they do is they drop a ball bearing onto the surface of the, uh, of the uh, onto the surface and watch to see how high it bounces. If it, if it just kind of goes thud, it doesn't bounce very far. And if it, if it rebounds a lot, then they say, oh, that must, that must be a good one. And uh, it, it uh, reminded me of something I've got in my toolbox, something I inherited. I, I don't remember where I got it now, um, but let me push this out of the way just for a second. Let me show you this. It is a hard checker, not a hardness checker, but a hard checker. <laughs> and uh, it's a cool little thing. Um, so it is a, it looks like a, a, a thermometer or a hydrometer or, or it looks, looks like some piece of, uh, of cool laboratory equipment. It's got a, a sliding scale on it and scale that you can read and stuff on it. It's got a glass tube. looks like maybe you put liquids in it and stuff. But what it is, is there's an actual, uh, piece of material in there. And if I can do it here on camera. You see that little thing drop down there? It's freaking, there it is. There's a, there's a little steel plunger here and that steel plunger can slide inside that glass tube. Okay. And so, um, you need to make sure the glass tube is clean. So it comes with a cleaning rod. It's like a, like a, a, a gun cleaning rod with a swab on the end, right? You can run it in here and you can, uh, twist it as you go and make sure you're make sure your glass rod is very, very clean. So we'll do that. And so it has a nice little case here. And um, so what you do is you hold this thing vertical and there's a plunger on it. When you push the plunger down, it releases that, that weight and it comes down to the tip of that weight has some type of ball bearing or something, some, some type of hard material and it bounces back and it recoils. And then you watch to see how far it re recoils. And then you, you move the cursor here until, until the, the, uh, bounce matches the line. And so let's go ahead and do that. So this is, this is easy here. Uh, we'll pu put it down here. Let me move the camera a bit. All right. So I'm going to put it on a, a surface here and then I'm going to release the plunger and you can see the thing came down and it bounced. And then you need to get down here to eye level and I'm going to adjust the, uh, Higher that down. Yeah, I'd say about there is probably the average for the bounciness. Okay, so we bounce it up and down. Then if you turn it to the back, then you can read off on the hardness scales. There's the shore, the rock well, and the brindle. Um, and the Vickers. So uh, Rockwell is kind of what I understand. So this is about Rockwell 61. Uh, so that's Rockwell 61. Uh, let's go ahead and see what the uh, what this piece of uh, tool steel does. This is a Latrobe Latrobe steel cobalt. So it's got to be awful hard. It's got to be oops, by the way around. It's got to be awful hard. So let me bounce it off of there. Oh yeah, it's bouncing a little higher. Ooh, a lot higher. So 
So I'd say about there. So it's measuring Rockwell, about Rockwell 66. So yeah, that's, that's super hard. Uh, this is a little brown and sharp uh, machinist vise. And so let's uh, make sure we have enough mass on this. Thing. So let's uh, put it on here. We'll bounce it off of this hardened jaw here. This is supposed to be hardened. And it's, it's going up about to there. And so it's about Rockwell 61. Okay. And let's try out, uh, here's a, a machinist uh, right angle block and it should be hardened. So let's see, let's do it on top here. So a lot of mass behind it. And it's about the same. So these two are about, about the same. Okay. And then let's try this little uh, uh, surface gauge here. Uh, this is a, this is a sterret and uh, I believe these are hardened. Uh oh, look at that. It just went bleh. So it's about Rockwell, uh, Rockwell, what is the numbers here? Rockwell 22 or something. I mean, it's really bad. So this is definitely not hardened. So I thought it was. I'm kind of surprised this wasn't hardened. Um, so there you go. Uh, let, me, uh, let me bring you in to give you a closer look at this thing. All right. So here you can see the scale and the little cursor moves. And there's that glass tube. Here's the little release plunger it pushes in. It just, it just, when you, when you uh, let go of it, it the uh, suction just sucks, it, sucks that, that plunger right up here again, and then it's ready to go down again. And this little hole in the end here where it pops out. So yeah, and then uh, on the back side, the back side is uh, the scales, the different, let's see, Detroit Flame Hardening Company, Detroit, Illinois. Nice. It is a, it is a hard checker manufacturer number five, six, eight. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't seen any of these on YouTube. Um, so I don't know if they're, if they're pretty rare or they, those are no good. I don't know. It seems like it's uh, it seems like it's pretty cool. It detected, it detected this as soft metal and the other ones as hard and the Rockwell numbers seem to be reasonable. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's obviously an expensive item, so it must have worked reasonably well. Otherwise they wouldn't be able to charge money for it. Um, and, uh, comes with this really, really cool little, little case to put it in. There you go.